Hi everyone! Welcome back to Ashley's Lullaby Nursery. I am Ashley and in today's video, as you can see, we have a box opening! I am so excited. Okay, this is a kit that I have never seen in the community before. Um, I don't think it's a new sculpt. I don't think it is, um, but I've never seen this baby before. So right when I seen this baby, I thought, oh my goodness, what a unique face. Um, this baby is a little smaller than most of my reborns. Um, uh, he or she, I don't wanna give away the gender until I open the box. Um, they're about 19 inches long and they have full limbs. Um, it is not, I don't think this baby's a McPherson's kit. I have to check if it comes with, with a COA. But like I said, this is a kit I haven't seen in the community yet. Um, it might be a really old kit. I'm not sure. But when you guys see this baby, if you know um, anything about it, please comment below and let me know. Because this is my first time ever seeing this baby. But obviously I purchased her because I thought, you know, very cute. So. Onto the box opening. Oh, and as you can see, I have little Alex in the back here and little Doc and Todd. He's taking a nap while I do the box opening. So, I purchased this baby like three weeks ago. Maybe two weeks. I'd say maybe two weeks and a half almost now. And I know it didn't take that long for her. Okay, it's a girl. Look, you can see the pink. I already said her anyway. It did take, I'm sorry, I know it wasn't like super long for her to, to, to get here, but oh my god, you guys, I was stressing. I was watching the tracker every day, and every time I would see that she wasn't moving for like two days, like it was saying that she was still in the same location, I would reach out to the artist and find out, like, can you please, or sorry, ask if she could find out through her postal office of when exactly the baby would be delivered. And every time she would check, she'd say, oh, it seems like they're on the right track, you know, they should be there soon and whatever. Of course, the baby came, finally, and I'm very happy to have her here. So right away, I see this beautiful presentation of pink tissue. So we're going to take this off. Oh my gosh. I'm going to keep this tissue for another box packing. Some bubble wrap. Okay. Alright you guys, and obviously she's right here. We're going to open the package first. Well, actually we'll open this one first. And I think she comes with a COA. So we'll open this little Ziploc bag. And inside we have her Passy. So it's a pink honeybug Passy with a, a pink heart sticker. Isn't that cute? There's her passy. Put that over there. And then she comes with three diapers, and they have circus. Oh, it's um. Oh, it's from the uh, Dr. Seuss characters. I don't know which book it's from, but they're Dr. Seuss characters. Isn't that cute? Three diapers, and I believe these are newborn size. I don't think it says the size. They might be honest diapers. They're cute. And then a little powder wafer. Scented powder wafer. Oh, so she comes with some paperwork. Okay, good. I've got to know something about her. So, okay, she does come with a COA. So, oh my gosh, it's not even, okay, it is in English. Okay, so, you know what? I'm going to read this after I open the doll. Yeah, I'll open that, or I'll read that after I uh, open the doll. And then here's a care sheet. So, got a, a care sheet for her. Okay, and I'll put this to the side as well. Just put that there. Okay. And then under here we have a cute pink headband. Isn't that sweet for her? And then we have this package. Oh, I saw this in her photos. Oh my god. This headband is so cute. It's a nice uh, purple headband. Comes with this beautiful um, I 
I'd say this is a blush pink onesie. This might be too big for her. It's zero to three months, but in the picture, she looks very small. Oh my goodness. And then these adorable bloomers that have different colored polka dots. The bloomers are like an ivory white. They're very cute. And then this adorable little receiving hat. It's gray with white triangles on it. So there's some of her clothes. She doesn't come with a lot, but that's okay. So we put this over here. Okay. Oh, we got the baby. So I'm gonna take her out and put her on the body. And I believe that's her head. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's so small. Let's move the box out of the way. Oh my gosh, you guys. She's right here. I'm so excited. So we'll get her COA and put it over here so it'll be easier for me to uh, get a hold of it to read to you guys once I open her up. I don't want you to see yet, even though there's probably not much you can see. But she is wrapped in this beautiful plush uh, white blanket and it has pink flowers, outline flowers on it. It's really cute and she's wrapped in this beautiful pink sparkly ribbon. I'm going to untie. Oh, it's one of those elasticy ribbons. This is cute. I'm gonna keep it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. I don't wanna. Oh, she's wearing one of the outfits from her pictures. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's wearing socks. See how tiny she is. Oh my god. She's so cute. Let's see her feet. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow, her foot is bigger than I expected. But oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, look at her toes. Wow. Oh my god, her painting's really nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, I want to unbutton this because I want to see her chubby little legs. You guys probably don't recognize these feet because I'm telling you, I have not seen one of these babies yet in the reborn community. Oh my goodness. Look how small she is. Look at her legs. So they're um, stretched. One, one leg's completely stretched out. As you can see. Oh my gosh, she's cute. I like her. And then one's kind of bent. Almost like a Saskia's legs. One's bent and one's stretched out, but this baby's definitely smaller. Is her head covered? Oh my gosh, she's not, okay. Oh my gosh. Let's take this off. Uncover her. So she's wearing hand mitts while she's very well protected. So she has these cute pink scratch mitts with darker pink polka dots. Oh my gosh, I didn't even show. Her socks have cute frill. So adorable. Mitts. Okay. I'm going to take this off. Oh my goodness, look. Her veining. Aww. Okay, let's see this hand. Oh my goodness. So one hand is more open and the other one's not fully closed, but it looks like she can hold your hand, your finger. Oh, you guys. She's nicely painted. Okay. I'm going to remove this from underneath her. So this is obviously a footless sleeper. And it's by Just One You Carter's Preemie. So this is preemie size. Yeah, that onesie she came with is definitely going to be too big. But that's okay. I have other onesies I can pair it with. Okay. Let's see your arms, precious girl. I don't think I will have to reweigh her that much. Feels like she has a glass of beads in her. But she feels like, like she's a good weight. Oh my gosh, look at that red elbow. I hope you guys can see in the lighting. I'll do a details video of her another in another video. But she definitely has nice coloring. Her, um... Her modeling is nice too. Yeah, she's nicely painted. 
Okay, are you guys ready for her face? Um, trying to turn her arms about. Okay, let's just go for her face. One, two, three. And here she is. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my goodness, this hair. Oh my god. So she has painted hair. <gasps> you guys, wow. She's cute. Oh my gosh. She looks angry. Sorry, I'm just getting a close look of closer look of her and then I'll bring her to the camera. She is painted with air dry paint. I will list her artist down below. Um yeah, her hair is nicely painted. She's small. Oh my goodness. She's cute. I'm just admiring her details right now. Okay, I'll bring her closer. So here she is. So if any of you don't recognize this face, she is the... She is the Cara Sculpt by Lind. Oh, I'm not going to say her last name because I'm going to butcher it. So I'll just show you. Is Lind or Lindy. And then that's her last name there. I'll put her name in the description below. So she's. She is. Yeah, she's an authentic vinyl kit of model Cara by Lindy, and then, like I said, her last name that I can't pronounce, and she did sign it. You can see her signature right here. Um, so that's her birth certificate, her, her COA, sorry, her COA. So it's proof that she's a real baby. I'm going to take her onesie off because I want to see her whole body. And I'm definitely going to take her zip ties off because they're tight. They're so tight I can't even turn her head or move her limbs. So I'm going to take her apart and then see if she needs any weighting. She's way smaller than I expected. She's so cute. I don't know. I just, I like her face. I, when I seen her, I was like, oh my gosh, that's a different face. I don't have a face like that in my collection. I think she's sweet, you guys. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to bond with her. I felt like she needed a home, so I bought her. Her face, wow, look at the sculpting. She has a very wide neck. That's okay, yeah, I can't even turn her head, like, barely. But, wow, she's cute. She's very red. She's definitely on the redder side, but that's okay. <laughs> Looking at her ears. Yeah, her artist did a pretty good job. I mean, I can see where her strong suits are and then, you know, where she's, in, like everyone, you have your, the, you have um, qualities of you that are good and then you have qualities of you that are not so good. So for some of us as artists, there are things that we're better at when it comes to making the babies look real. And then there are some things we're just not so good at, which is completely normal. So she has glass beads in her limbs. You can feel it. And I believe she's filled pretty much to a, like past the elbow. Same with her, her legs. But like I said, I gotta change her out of this. Maybe, yeah, I'm just, I like her floppiness. She's definitely floppy, but wow, is she ever smaller than I thought. <clears throat> she's, yeah, she is not what I was expecting, but not in a bad way. She is, yeah, she's just, she is the way that she is. She's cute. I actually do like her. Aw. Yeah, I'm going to change out her um, zip tie so that I can move her limbs easier. 
maybe once I do that and wipe her down, because she has that plasticky smell, which I cannot stand. So I'm going to give her a wipe down, change up her zip ties, you know, give her fresh, fresh look. Because I believe she was up for adoption for quite some time um, before I ended up adopting her. And I felt like she needed a mommy. So I'm like, you know what? I'll give this baby a home. She has a nice dose weight body. Um, there's something sticky on her. I'm going to have to wipe her down with a baby wipe. Hold on. I'm gonna go get a baby wipe one sec okay so i got a baby wipe and a dry washcloth because she is air dry paint and i don't want to leave her wet and risk her paint coming off so i'm just going to i really hope nothing none of this comes off i'm literally checking the wipe as i'm wiping her okay that should be fine if she's varnished then none of this should come off She needs a wipe down. She's cute though. Look at her face. It's going to definitely take some getting used to this. This baby. Only because I'm not used to limbs like this. On a smaller baby. Um, you know, most of my babies, their limbs are... Their, like, their legs are like froggy legs, like they're bent like Levi's limbs. Um, and yeah, my babies just have this, you know, this thing about them, obviously, because I've bonded with them. So I've become more, ha like, not, sorry, I'm trying to find the right, right words to describe what I'm trying to explain. Um, um, her nails are nice too so i'm just admiring her as i'm wiping her but like i was saying i'm not used to these like limbs like this so it's gonna take some time to bond but that's okay i still fall or i fell in love with this face for a reason and obviously i knew what her limbs looked like in the pictures of course the artist posted you know a enough photos for me to see okay this is what she looks like you know this is how she's gonna be so but she's so cute she's small i like her overall size i like that she's small i thought her feet and hands would be or especially her feet i thought it'd be a little bit smaller but that's okay doesn't matter she has big feet she's a cutie and she has painted hair. I know I'm more into the rooted babies, but that face, I just couldn't say no. I had to take her home. Or I had to bring her home. So baby's getting a wipe down and... We're gonna change her zip ties out, like I said. I think she's wearing the newer bodies with the side panels. So you know what, you guys? I might change her zip ties on camera with you because my last video, I did a reweighting video for one of my subscribers and I was talking about those side panel cloth bodies and if she has one of those, it'll be perfect to show you now what I meant by you can just dump in all the beads and not worry about using any of those nylon stockings to hold it and to secure it in place. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll find out once I take her apart. This foot is very cute. I love this foot. I love how expressive it is. She's adorable. Look at her little rolls. Look at these little rolls, little baby. Yeah, she's a cutie pie, you guys. I have to message the artist and let her know I got the baby. And she's safe and sound with me. Yeah, I was very worried about her. Her little self waiting to meet me. To be with her new family. <clears throat> she has some wipe fuzzies. Baby wipe fuzzies on her head. Her hair is beautifully painted, you guys. So I actually like her hair. I'm not too crazy of the back of her head, but that doesn't matter. No one stares at the back of the baby's head. Okay, I'm going to go get some zip ties. And I'll be right back. I'll just lay her here. Make her look cute. For now, oh, where's her passy? Here, take your passy so you don't get upset. Oh, look how cute she is. 
Okay, I'm going to, I'm gonna get a couple of zip ties and then I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna take her apart now. Um, if any of you are sensitive to certain things, I suggest you sign off now because I'm going to take this baby apart and reassemble her. Um, she's just a doll as you can see, so don't get alarmed and think I'm taking apart a real baby because she's not real, <laughs> she's just a doll. So, let's start. Let's start with her legs first. Okay. And I just wanna see um, what she's weighted with. I might, I'm gonna leave her arms and her I'm going to leave her leg, uh, sorry, I'm going to leave her limbs and her head. I'm not going to bother reweighting any of that. I'm just going to check her body out. Because for the most part, I think her head and her limbs are a good weight. So if I could get this. There we go. So there's one leg. Saw something sticky. I've got to wipe that all off. Ugh, I have to get another wipe afterwards. So put her her leg over there. Okay. Not her other leg. Okay, so it's not one of those bodies. I was wrong. It's not one of the newer bodies. So I can't show you what I was talking about. But if I um if I end up buying one for one of the babies that I make, then I'll show you. Her zip ties are on too tight. I can't turn her limbs whatsoever. But that's not a bad thing. This is why it's important for everyone who's a collector to know how to do this. You know, to take apart your baby and adjust them to your liking. And um, yeah, just to know how to reweigh your baby. Take them apart, put them back together. It's something very important to know. Even if you're not, like, not all it's not just the artists that should know that it's also the co the collectors because if you receive a baby like for example the one i just got today cara i want to reweigh her i want to make her to the way i like so that's why i'm doing this but yeah so we got all her limbs off now her head okay where's the and her limbs are a good weight. I'm going to put her over there for now. And um, check out the body real quick. I feel like she's really squishy. That's okay. It's not a bad thing. I just want to adjust her beads and her body so you can see she's also weighted the way I do my babies. Ball of glass beads. Put the cotton around. Fill up the bum area. I might get some more cotton, to be honest, but we'll see. Because okay. if you fluff it up, it tends to fill out more. When it's all compacted, it doesn't, you know, fill out as much as it should. So we got to fluff it up a bit. Like I said, I believe this baby has been up for adoption for a while before I purchased her. So she's probably been sitting all fully finished for a few months waiting for someone to adopt her. Yeah, I think, you know what? I think the cotton she already has will be enough because fluffing it out makes it a lot more filling for her body. Perfect. And I like how she's floppy, so we're gonna leave her a little floppy. Alrighty, now for the zip ties. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
she does not have a neck ring so I'll loosen the neck zip tie or I'll leave it a little looser on the neck so that I could turn her head easily um, I'm debating on Give her a little bit more weight. I might put that ball of beads in her as well. She's got two balls of beads in her. Oh, let me see how that is. How that goes. Hold on. So I don't know which one's heavier. I don't want her to be too too heavy because she is smaller than most of my babies. She's probably around Charlotte size length. Or, you know what? She might be a little bit longer because Charlotte's limbs are uh, bent. Her knees and her arms are all bent. So she seems a little shorter. But, yeah, either way, Kara is small and I, I love her size. She's so cute. Look at her face. She looks so angry. <laughs> I love it. Okay, you know what? The one she came with is definitely heavier. Okay, we'll just leave that one inside of her then. Okay, all that was almost for nothing, but oh well. Okay, let's start. back on Oops. okay you know what um I'm gonna get some more cotton I'll be back again oh, sorry okay so some more polyfill 